Awesome. So we're talking about Pandora, and you mentioned producer. Real quick, explain what your role is with the show, because I think a lot of people don't quite understand what a producer does. Right, because they see the credits and they see a lot of titles with a lot of people <laughs> called producer, and it can be very confusing. In my case, I'm an executive producer, I'm also the creator, but I run the writer's room, I oversee the scripts, uh, you know, in concert with uh, Tom, hired the whole cast, um, you know, hired the pr production company, decide on who the directors are. It's like running a company that produces television, you know, in a sense. It's like every, every, every decision that has to be made ultimately is a decision that as executive producers, we have made at some point. All powerful being, essentially. It, it's kind of like, you know, you know, yeah, like in an old Star Trek episode, the, yeah. you can transform matter and to you know energy in the matter. That's kind of us, yeah, in a way, yeah. And then, uh, if you would like to add on role of a producer for yourself, you know, I mean, there there are so many producer titles on a show like Mark said. It means something different in television than it does in in, in movies. But Mark, as a producer, he's the showrunner, which is a name that people in the last ten years people have kind of used it a little bit more in terms of in the pop culture. But it really means the boss. I mean, he's, he's the boss of the show, and then he's got a team of producers around him helping with the writing and every aspect that he just says, because it is a bear getting a show, especially in, in a short period of time like Pandora. It's a bear getting a show off the ground and on the air. There's so many details to be covered. Tom and I sold the show in, in February, and it was on the air in July, which is, you know, that's good producing. I have to congratulate you, Tom. <laughs> but, and that's yeah. one of the exciting things about television, because a movie, a movie could take two, three, four, five, ten years to get off the ground. T TV is a fast medium, but February to July is super fast, even for television. Absolutely. Uh, and then I noticed a moment ago, you said something like Star Trek. One of the other actors we spoke with earlier said something like Star Trek. This is science fiction, that's science fiction. What makes this show, Pandora, unique that people should tune in to watch as a science fiction television? And I think it's very different in the sense that we're hearkening back to classic science fiction, you know, shows like Star Trek, because we're celebrating family, we're, uh, we're taking a stand against xenophobia, a fear of the other, we're extolling education, um, we're, we're examining social issues through the lens of allegory and metaphor. So that all harkens back to classic Star Trek, Next Generation, the shows that we love. It definitely is a throwback and you know right now that kind of storytelling is a little out of fashion. Everything's dark and everybody wants to be you know kind of Breaking Bad or Blade Runner, the TV series, and you know we you know, want to be something different. We think there's enough negativity and cynicism right now in our world, and we want to say the future is going to be better. If we all work together, we can achieve great things. And, and that's at the heart of the show. And I think the fans clearly get it, because even in the few days we've been at Comic-Con, we've had people running up to us with artwork and, and coming up and telling us how much they love the show. They've been watching on the CW app and on CW and just telling us, um, and on social media, it's you know we really already see the beginning of something. Hopefully, that's going to be really special. And the show, as we get to know our characters, it just deepens. And there's a mythology there that I think is really exciting. So it's really nice to see people get it and are uh, passionate about it. One of the best things about television is you know people work very hard. Everyone's got all different types of jobs. They come home at night, they're exhausted. They want to sit back kick their feet up and actually be entertained. And the fact that a show like Pandora can entertain people while bringing to the fore all these issues and, and, and address these issues with metaphor in a very smart way and still be fun and entertaining, have great characters that you care about and that you love, and that's what we're trying to do. We want to entertain an audience and also give them great storytelling and great characters and go deep into all these different areas without being, as Mark said, dark and dystopian. And a very special cast. I mean, you met you know, Priscilla, Oliver, I mean, you know, the whole ensemble is really terrific. And, you know, there's a certain alchemy in trying to cast, you know, great actors. And they really gelled and become, you know, they're super friendly. It's like what the Next Generation cast had, where they all really love each other and get along and want us to go to dinner together. And you don't always have that. I've been on a lot of shows where my cast hate each other. And, you know, this is not one of those shows and it makes it a lot more fun and then do you recall any particular happy accidents that happened while filming you know something that wasn't planned but turned out maybe better than you had could have imagined yeah happy accidents I what Rochelle Rochelle what about the clone what clone 
Oh, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a great, okay, that's a great story. In the second episode, which premieres this week on The CW, um, it's about, uh, you know, R- Rochelle Bano's character of um, Atria is a clone, and so we would have to do that classic thing when you double or triple or quadruple yeah. somebody. Well, we found out she had a clone in real life. She had a twin sister. So we flew her in from Australia, wow. and she played her own clone. It was... It was one of those really happy, uh, fortuitous things. And, uh, you know, with some of the shots, people said, how did you do that? And it's like, and we just had two of them. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Anything else you'd want to add? That was the biggest one, because that one was shocking. But then, but then when you... You find out each actor and what they can do. Um, one, one of our actors, Ben, ben Radcliffe, who plays Raylan, is a gymnast in real life, and he, and he does um, a lot of other at- athletic things. And for some of the fight scenes and the stunts, he's able to do his own stunts from some training that he had that had nothing to do with the show. We're like, oh, you could do a flip? You could just do that? So we started adding wow. all this action in for him because he has these huge, you know, amazing yeah. leg moves and, and flip, can flip in place. Why don't you try it? Can you do yeah. a flip? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Yeah. And, and Did you see it? I did it so fast, you missed it. <laughs> you know, once you start to get to know your actors, you start to tailor the role for them. And so a lot of the dialogue and a lot of the action and stuff is, is tailored for them. And so it deepens them as characters as well, which is really cool. Well, awesome. So definitely check out Pandora. I love all the different nuggets of information you gave us. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Yeah, thank you for your interest. Stay tuned. we got a lot of great things coming. we got a lot of fun guest stars and, and guest yeah. stars from the genre that people will recognize. Oh, yeah. we a lot of we fun got some shows. really fun people coming really up. Really good surprises. In almost every episode, you'll look and go, oh, they got so-and-so, which we don't want to give away those surprises now. Uh, but we love the genre. It's a love letter to the yeah. genre. Well, both yeah. of us are huge fans, and we've worked all our careers pretty much in the genre. Um, so catch it on CW or the CW app. Uh, you can stream at any time. All right, you heard it there. Thank you very much. Thank you.